Did you know that we can now store data on small molecules the size of a nanometer? That's a billionth of a meter. It's very small. That's equivalent of about 10 hydrogen atoms. See, storing information on molecules has long been a holy grail in the biotech space. It can't be hacked, and it's only accessible in person. Also, such molecules can survive in high heat or in environments with low oxygen or no light. The question you're probably asking is how are scientists doing this, and why is the Department of Defense funding their research? Researchers at Brown University, funded by a contract from DARPA, a Department of Defense agency that develops emerging technology, are at the forefront of molecular data storage. In a new study, this group shows it's possible to store and retrieve data in things called metabolomes. Metabolomes are basically liquid mixtures of sugar and amino acids. In nature, these help organisms regulate their metabolism. In this case, though, the scientists created their own metabolomes. The researchers have now shown that they can encode image files the size of a kilobyte into the liquid. They can also read the information back out again. To do this, they first created 36 different metabolic liquid compounds. They then programmed a robot to precisely place nanoliter-sized droplets of the liquid on a metal plate. They then dried these plates, leaving tiny spots of crystallized molecules. A mass spectrometer machine was then used to analyze the crystallized molecules, and in particular, weigh each of them. They programmed it like this. If a crystal had a mass above a certain threshold, it was translated into a number one. If it had a mass below that threshold, it was translated into a number zero. This way, the scientists coded binary numbers into the molecular mixtures. By organizing the ones and zeros in the form of molecule crystals in a pattern, they can encode whatever image they want onto the metal sheet. A hacker, for example, would have to have the metabolic key to figure out which molecule mixtures are ones and which are zero. In the Brown study, they encoded images of a goat and a cat using the technique. The spectrometer was able to read the molecular versions of these images and reproduce them after attaining their binary codes. Now, this experiment is small potatoes compared to the amount of data that can be stored in molecular liquids in the future. This was just a trial run. They could be used to represent much more than ones and zeros, given how many different molecules can be mixed together in a crystal. For example, you could tie specific letters of the alphabet to different chemical compounds. Given this, it's understandable why the US military would want the technology. They could store sensitive data in an offline vault immune to temperature changes, and it wouldn't even need to be connected to the electricity grid. When talking about its potential, a researcher at Harvard said this, quote, think of storing the contents of the New York Public Library within a teaspoon of protein. That's pretty wild. As for whether or not the technology makes its way into the hands of everyday consumers like us, outside of the military, that remains to be seen. Hopefully it does, because it'd be pretty useful to be able to store sensitive offline data in a way that can withstand any environmental threats. More information on the study is in the video description. We're a new channel that covers scientific studies, oftentimes ones that the media is not paying attention to. We're a growing community, and subscribe if you'd like to join.